Have you ever wondered why Haiti and the Dominican Republic, two countries sharing the same island, are so starkly different? Today, we'll be journeying to the island of Hispaniola, home to both these nations. Now, despite their geographical closeness, Haiti and the Dominican Republic are worlds apart in terms of culture, economy and politics. Haiti, on one hand, is renowned for its vibrant Afro-Caribbean culture and French influence, while the Dominican Republic, on the other, boasts a robust blend of indigenous, African and Spanish elements. Economically, Haiti grapples with poverty and political instability, whereas the Dominican Republic enjoys relative stability and a more prosperous economy. Yet these differences are not born out of thin air. They're deeply rooted in the nation's distinct colonial pasts. Haiti was the first independent black republic, born out of a slave revolt, while the Dominican Republic experienced an extended period of Spanish rule. So how exactly did their colonial histories shape these two countries? To understand the divergence, we need to delve into the era of colonial rule. The story begins in the 15th century with the Spanish conquest of the island, which marked the birth of the Dominican Republic. The Spanish settlers brought with them their language, culture, and a system of governance that was to shape the Dominican Republic for centuries to come, but the story takes a twist. In the western part of the island, the French took control, and thus, Haiti was born. The French, like the Spanish, brought their own language and customs, but their colonial policies and practices differed significantly. The French heavily relied on a brutal system of slavery to drive their sugar plantations creating a harsh socio-economic structure that was to have long-lasting effects on Haiti's future. On the flip side, the Spanish, while still employing slavery, implemented a more diversified economic structure. They cultivated tobacco, cacao and livestock, which allowed for a somewhat more balanced society. These different colonial practices laid the groundwork for the stark contrast we see today between the two nations. While both nations were shaped by the iron fist of colonial rule, they were molded by hands of different nations with different strategies and priorities. The Spanish and French, in their quest for wealth and power, unknowingly charted the courses for two distinct nations. As we can see, the seeds of disparity were sown during the colonial era, but what happened after independence? Independence saw the two nations taking radically different paths. With the dawn of the 19th century, Haiti, under the leadership of Jean-Jacques Dessalines, broke free from the shackles of French colonial rule in 1804, becoming the first black republic and the second independent nation in the Americas. Forty years later, the Dominican Republic followed suit, liberating itself from Spanish rule in 1844. However, the journey post-independence was far from smooth. Haiti, despite its revolutionary victory, found itself isolated by the Western powers, who were reluctant to recognize a nation forged from a slave revolt. The French, still smarting from the loss of their lucrative colony, imposed a crippling indemnity on Haiti. To pay this enormous debt, Haiti had to take high interest loans from foreign banks, plunging the nation into a cycle of debt and poverty from which it has yet to fully recover. On the other side of the island, the Dominican Republic enjoyed relative stability and economic development, its independence from Spain was largely peaceful, and it was able to avoid the international isolation experienced by Haiti. The Dominican economy thrived, largely due to its agricultural exports, particularly sugar, and its strategic location in the Caribbean. In essence, the post-independence trajectories of these two nations were as different as night and day. Haiti struggled under the weight of debt and isolation, while the Dominican Republic charted a path of economic growth and stability. So, the post-independence era further widened the gap between the two nations, but what is the situation today? Today, the differences between Haiti and the Dominican Republic are more apparent than ever. Economically, the Dominican Republic has outpaced Haiti, becoming a major tourist destination and boasting a more diversified economy. Meanwhile, Haiti, despite its rich cultural heritage, struggles with economic instability and poverty. Politically, both nations have seen their share of instability, Yet the Dominican Republic has managed to foster a relatively stable democratic system, while Haiti continues to grapple with political upheaval. Socially, the Dominican Republic, influenced by its Spanish colonial past, is predominantly Spanish-speaking and Catholic. Haiti, on the other hand, 
with its French and African influences, is largely French-speaking and practices a mix of Catholicism and Voodoo. These realities are not merely a product of recent events, but deeply rooted in their distinct colonial histories and post-independence experiences. They underscore the profound impact of history on the present. In summary, the divergent paths of Haiti and the Dominican Republic can be traced back to their distinct colonial